that guy, Lamar Jackson, for the Baltimore Ravens, I don't know if you've heard uh, recently, uh, but little birdie, told, little birdie told me he's pretty good at football. Uh, he's, he's, he's not bad. Lamar Jackson against the Houston Texans in a 34-10 to drubbing. 16 and 22, a buck 52 passing, two touchdowns, passer rating of 121, and a QBR if you round up to 94. And by the way, he had 11 carries for 100 yards and two more touchdowns. So Lamar Jackson in totality had 252 yards total, two touchdowns passing, two rushing. That would count for four on the day. QBR 0 to 100 of 93.9 and a passer rating of 121.8. Simply put, he was nothing short of spectacular because that's Lamar Jackson. Now, I said on Friday, obviously, I, I picked the Ravens to win the game. And I'm a Steelers fan, mind you. I picked the Ravens to win the game, though. They're the far, they're far better roster in Houston. Houston's just too young. They need time. CJ Stroud, Demico Ryan's, they're, they're on the right path, obviously. Uh, took a, a crappy franchise to the playoffs and a playoff win. Uh, props to them. Baltimore's a better team. But I said, for as much as I believed in, in Lamar since he came into the NFL, he can't lose this game. I said, he's more under more pressure than Josh Allen was. If Josh lost to Mahomes, well, guess what? <laughs> Most it's, at least you could sort of say it's Patrick Mahomes. Josh didn't make the plays at the end again, but it's Mahomes. Like we could, you could sort of rationalize it. You can't rationalize Lamar Jackson losing to a rookie quarterback, rookie coach, a team that's really not even supposed to be there as the one seed, as a guy who's going to win a, a second MVP in his career in the divisional round, one and done. That couldn't happen for Lamar and the Ravens. Couldn't happen. And it was dicey. Houston blitzed a lot in the first half, and Lamar kind of struggled. And in the second half, uh, this is just the drive charts. This doesn't even take into account, into context, what uh, Lamar Jackson was doing with his arm and with his legs, which was just crazy. Just things that other guys can't do. But second half, Lamar Jackson, six plays, 55 yards, touchdown. The next drive, 12 plays, 93 yards, touchdown. The next drive, 11 plays, 78 yards, touchdown. And then they got a field goal drive there uh, at the end. Uh, I don't even know, Tyler Huntley. No, Tyler Huntley went in the game at that point. Uh, no, I'm sorry, he was. He was at the game at that point. So... That's Lamar Jackson. And it, it is, I, I, I've said for years on carving it up that there's three quarterbacks I defend to the death. One I'm close to moving off of, but I'm still going to stay on the train. Still going to stay on the train. Uh, three I defend to the death, and I don't really know why I have to. One is Derek Carr, and i sort of understanding why I have to lately. I may have to replace Derek Carr with Brock Purdy. The second one is Dak. Don't get it why I have to defend a guy who's going to finish second for the MVP and has dragged a, a bad franchise to multiple playoff appearances. And the first, above Dak, above, definitely above Carr and above Purdy, potentially, is Lamar Jackson, which makes the mo the least sense to me why I have to defend this guy. What 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 is there to have to defend? He's a league MVP. He's gotten better every single year of his career, literally. He comes to the NFL in 2018, takes over for a, I think there were a three and five Ravens team at that point, leads him to the playoffs, but then loses to the Chargers, and it's like, ah, can he really beat you with his arm? Oh, yeah, he can beat you with his arm. You know, all he does the year uh, a year later is lead the NFL in completion percentage and touchdown passes. You know, that's and wins league MVP, so he can beat you with his arm. But then they get blown out by Tennessee. Ah, can he win in the playoffs? Well, the next year he beats Tennessee in the playoffs. But can he play from behind though? Well, he beats Patrick Mahomes in a come from behind win, and that's pretty hard to do. It's usually Mahomes who's doing the comebacks, not the guy against him. Okay, how about? Uh, how about in 2022? Well, the, do the Ravens need him that much? I mean, he's asking for all this money, and his mom's negotiating the contract. And do they really need him that much? Is, it, is he really worth the, I say this in air quotes, trouble of the negotiations? Yeah, we saw the Ravens without Lamar Jackson. How'd they look? Barely average double digits and lost to Cincinnati in the playoffs. Close, by the way. You think Lamar being in that game wouldn't have made a difference? My guess is probably would have. He steps in this year, fully guaranteed, not fully guaranteed contract, but Big contract, so he's got his money. He's with the franchise he wants to be with. He's with the coach and the teammates he wants to be with. They upgraded OC, bring in Todd Munkin, uh, get, you know, kick Greg Roman out the back door, so to speak. They bring in Todd Munkin, bring the receivers in, Odell, Zay Flowers. What a surprise. Oh, what, what a shock. Lamar's one of the last four, to quarter, last four quarterbacks standing. Again, I, I've said for the last few weeks, and I certainly maintain this, Mahomes Burrow aside, there's no quarterback in football I want more than this guy. He has turned into not an elite thrower from the pocket, but a darn good one. He is objectively an elite thrower outside the pocket. Pro Football Focus graded him as the best quarterback in all of football throwing outside the pocket. We know what he can do with his legs. He's Michael Vick 2.0 in that regard. He's a great leader. He wins like 80% of his games. He's coachable. Again, gets better every year. Now he wins in the playoffs. Like, what more? 
listen, if he doesn't get a Super Bowl this year, well, we look at it as that, yep, see, that's why Lamar's not good. That's your justification now? Now he's a running back. Remember that thing that was trending when the Ravens were destroying the Dolphins? Quarterbacky? Oh, he's not. There was that one host who said he's not quarterbacky, and that got trending. Even LeBron James was talking about it. You know. At this point, if you are a doubter on Lamar, you don't necessarily have to have him as high as I do. I've got him third in the league. There's no, there's no reasonable argument. It doesn't exist that he's not a top five guy. And top five guys are like franchise changers. Are guys who you can win multiple Super Bowls with. Are guys who win multiple MVPs, which I don't know if you've heard. Uh, Lamar Jackson is the only multi-time MVP playing in the NFL uh, right now. Rodgers is hurt, so we'll put him to the side. The other guy is the dude in Kansas City who's universally recognized as the best quarterback in football. If the Ravens lose to the Chiefs, it'll be highly disappointing. But will we look at it as, yep, see, that's why Lamar's not good. And most people lose to Mahomes. By the way, I think the Ravens have the better team. They have a, a great chance to win. Uh, what are they favored by against Kansas City? What do we got? Uh, three and a half. Okay, that feels reasonable. That that feels like a perfectly reasonable line. Uh, curious what the what, what the betting experts say throughout the week. We'll see. But I, I don't know what more you need to see from Lamar. Well, he can't throw. Well, he's you know led the league in touchdown passes in 2019, uh, and is the best quarterback in the NFL according to Pro Football Focus throwing outside the pocket. He is the second coming of Michael Dick in terms of mobility. Even the haters uh, would acknowledge that. He's coachable, and he's a great teammate, and he wins 80% of his games, and the Ravens make the playoffs every year that he is healthy. You know, he's about to win a second MVP. Like, what, what more do you need to see other than a Super Bowl? And does him not winning, even if the, if the Ravens don't win a Super Bowl this year, which I hope they don't, I'm a Steelers fan, but if the Ravens don't win the Super Bowl this year, is that, oh, see, that's why he's not good. That's the knock now? It's pretty... Pretty sorry, Knock, if I do say so myself. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube, and be sure to go click that big red subscribe button and check out the other clips and full shows from Carving It Up Live as well as our other incredible content creators here on the Grid Network.